Hey guys, Karen Sifi here with a double review. This time I'll be reading the Deluxe Henshin Belt Gav and the Deluxe Gochizo Holder and Vrukan Gochizo from Kamenar Gav. These are the belt used by Kamenar Gav to transform, as well as a holder that can hold onto one Ryder Gochizo, this year's collectible item. The Gav includes the belt itself, set of belt straps, and one, run, one Ryder Gochizo. And the Gochizo holder includes one Ryder Gochizo as well as the holder itself. So, let's get started. First up, we'll take a look at our two Ryder Gochizo, which are the Poppin' Gummy Gochizo and the Vrukan Gochizo. So, this is a Gochizo, which is a mini snack pack that can transform into a little creature. So, taking a look at this, we can see that the main body is nice translucent plastic. Look at the top and bottom edges. You can see it has detail to make it look like the jagged edges of the top and bottom of a snack pack. You can see it even has a little hole for if it was something that you'd hang on a peg in a store. Then we got the front label, which has the name Pop and Gummy, dump in letters that look like gummies. Got a description of juicy tastes and example of what those candy might look like as well as some kind of non-lettered text and a symbol to note that this is a gummy type gochizo as there are different types of gochizo within. Now this can transform into a little creature and while the main way of doing so is by using the henshin belt gav, all gochizo also have a button side to do it outside the belt. So if you press that button, it pops open to create this little creature. You can see it's new, more fierce looking eyes. It's got his mouth wide open. And a cool little trick is that if you notice here, what were the eyes for the little closed mode, become reflective spots on the tongue. And it also pops out these two little arms that are made of clear purple plastic to look like they're also made of gummy. Then we have the Vrukan Gochizo. Now this one is a bit of a weird one because it looks like it would be said as Vrokan, but they basically tried to shorten the word Vroom and then hatch that to candy. So it's still going to be called the Vrukan Gochizo. And for the candy type, they basically mean lickable lollipops. So you can see the little lollipop face, the little tongue sticking out, a little bit of melting candy on the top. A little tire there in the center of the lettering for the name. And you can see that is a candy type gochizo. And here. So we can pop this open. What reveals the little gochizo inside or the little creature inside? Got a couple of devil horns, a little sensor look on it. And it also looks like it's holding onto some bike handlebars. Next, we'll take a look at the Gav itself, but before we do, I need to address the whole thing with the name. For the first time in a long time, the belt is not referred to as a driver. It is called the Henshin Belt Gav, or the Gav for short. But this does create a King Odor sim situation where we have two things within the series that are kind of the same thing. So the belt is called the Gav, but then the common is also called Gav, so for simplicity's sake, and just to really distinguish between two, I will henceforth be referring to this as the Gav Belt. Since it is described as the Henshin Belt Gav, it is still a belt, but it is not the Gav Driver. So the Gav Belt is essentially one big mouth. You can see it's got nice metallic red color. A lot of details to distinguish it as a face. It's got some eyes in the front, gold teeth, a tongue here at the bottom, as well as a lot of mechanical detailing. We've got this handle here on the side, which has a bite clutch lever. We've got this point where a speaker will be, as well as some mirrored vent details. Button here on the side. Turn around to the back where we have the battery compartment. Takes three AAA batteries. On our switch here. You also have these two little clips, which, when pressed in, can be used to remove the top jaw. 
Now that may be used for future attachments, but for now, it doesn't really serve any purpose. You also have the belt straps, which are done in metallic red and silver. Nothing too new about the molding. And of course, they can be clipped in on the sides. Just like so. That will make things easier if we just take them off. So, next we'll switch on and see what we can do on something. Get that startup sound. Now the main gimmick here is that we have this lever, similar to the one on the build driver, but when using this lever, it causes the jaw to move up and down. Press the button on the side. That opens the jaw a little bit and we get a kind of tummy rumbling sound, which is kind of cute. But also lets us get a better look at the inside. We also open up the jaw all the way, which causes the tongue to stick out a little bit. You see a lot more mechanical detailing, but also a little bit of detailing that kind of helps pull the whole thing together. You can see that you've got these two spring-like details on the side, and this is where the pistons are. So, you can see that as you rotate the handle, the pistons move up and down, and they have, you know, these springs here that kind of show off that mechanism and kind of make it seem like it's those springs that are being used to help move the jaw up and down. And there's even a lot more mechanical detail in here on the inside. And that's all we can do with it on its own. Next we'll bring in the Poppin Gummy Gochizo for the transformation. So to start, we'll open the jaw all the way. Take the gochizo and place it on the tongue right here. So light up and say gummy. Then we can close down the jaw. And then turn the crank and have it chew the gochizo. When ready, we press the button on the side. And there we have the transformation into Kamen Rider Gav, Pop and Gummy form. And so I actually kind of get, give you an idea of how that all works. So if you take a look at the bottom of the gochizo, you can see that it has these metal contacts, which are how the belt reads it. Meanwhile, you can actually get an idea of how this all works by removing the other jaw. So what we've got going on here is that this button, when pressed, pops up this little lever which is what causes the jaw to raise slightly. Meanwhile, when moved back any bit, the outer jaw will press this lever, which causes the tongue to move in and out. So that combined with the lever and the button, that's how it all comes together. So you can do the transmission again. And of course, thanks to it being made of translucent plastic, the light shines very well through the gochizo. So then, for the finisher, we'll first turn the lever to lower down the jaw. 
and turn the crank to charge it up. And press the button again. And then we can take it out. And we'll bring in the Rukan Gochizo. And we can use that one. And so using this doesn't give him a form change, but rather summons the Rukan buggy, which is kind of like his bike. You also have the finisher. which is the Rukan Dash. Then we'll take a quick look at the Gojizo holder. So this is a pretty simple piece, just made from a few pieces of this silver plastic with these two arm-like attachments on it. So. The way this works is pretty simple. You can just take a gochizo and clip it onto the back. Like that. You also have the option of having it open. That will be clipped in, and you can lower these two to make it look like it's in a little robot suit. Which is pretty cute, but nothing too special. And of course, you can clip it onto the belt strap by just sliding over. Just like so. Finally, as a bonus, we'll take a look at the contents of the snack treasure box, which is a kind of bonus item that you can get with early purchases of the Henshin Belt Gav. That includes a few exclusive items. The first of these is the Counter Gav Pop and Gummy form soft vinyl in a clear purple color. So with this we can get an idea of some of the details of Gav, though obviously this is in a clear purple color so this isn't the way he looks properly, but I'll go more into the details of the rider when I take a look at his action figure. Second item is the Kuga Gochizo, the first of the rider Gochizos. So for this one, of course, it's a red color to represent Kuga. This is in a kind of gummy style. You can see the Kamenar Kuga logo and symbol done up like gummies. You have this kind of miniaturized Kuga, even down to the belt. If you open it up, you've got a Gochizo style Kuga in there, complete with eyes and a mouth. As well as a Ride Kemi Train card of Conrad Gav. This is a special promo card dubbed in the style of a Marvelous Rare, which was a kind of card that came in Ride Kemi Train card phase EX02, which I haven't looked at too much because that is kind of just a filler set for the end of the series. And see, it is kind of stylized like a Rider card from Conrad Decade, or Master Rider Decade. And even the back does resemble that of a rider card. However, the matching card is a Boom Boom Door card that I don't have, so I'm not going to be showing off in the Gachar Driver. However, we can of course show off the Kuga Gochizo with the Gav Belt.
And so there we get a kind of Gochizo noise version of Kyuga's transmission into Mai form. And this is the style for the Rider Gochizo, which I think is actually, or rather the Legend Rider Gochizo, which I think is definitely pretty cute and definitely very characterful. And of course we can also do a finisher. And there we go. So overall, while the concept for the Gav Belt does seem very silly on the surface, I think the way that they've executed it is actually very creative. Starting off with the way you put in the Gochizo, I think it's actually very brilliant that they made the rear the tongue, because in that way it makes it seem like the Gav is tasting the Gochizo to tell what kind of snack it is. Then you close it down. And it, you know, gradually chews on the snack, or the gochizo. Then, after you're done chewing it, it opens up its mouth to reveal the completed gochizo. Which is admittedly a little bit gross because it's as if, you know, it's a kid revealing chewed up food, but in a sense, you know, it does still work to kind of, you know, simulate the idea of this change in the state of the snack. Not to mention that, you know, while there are comparisons between this and the build driver, this does something that I wish the build driver did all those years ago, and something that definitely makes it better in this sense, which is that while the build driver has the standby play for a set amount of time, no matter how much or how little you turn the crank, with the Gav Belt, it actually allows you to turn it as much as you want and still get that continuous standby sound. And then when you're ready, you can press the button to complete the transformation. Which I think definitely makes it better because it means that you can actually make it feel like your turning actually matters and actually act is you know, really going for the action that you're trying to, you know, go through with the transmission gimmick. And the Gozo themselves are, you know, very cute in the way that, you know, it starts out as, you know, what looks like a simple snack pack and then transforms into creature. And as you can see, even from Jesse's 2, there's definitely going to be a lot of variation. And there are some different types of both snacks, as well as different ways that they open up which will definitely lead to some pretty creative Gochizo in the future. As for the holder, I think the reason to get that is mostly for the Vrukan Gochizo, as it is a shame that the holder only holds one Gochizo, and the little robot suit thing is a neat little gink, but ultimately nothing too special. So overall, if you like what you see here, I can definitely recommend picking up the Gav Belt and starting a collection of Gochizo. Next time, I'll be taking a look at the Deluxe Gavaga Blade and Goki Speeder. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And if you're new and would like to see more, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. And for now, this is KRX50, riding off.